Also, you get. Also. <lacht> Hey guys, I hope you are good. I hope you are fine. Welcome back to Sit With Me. Today I would like to talk about three major points. I believe that youths in general, but also mostly youths in churches, um, yes, encounter or go through. Yes, the first point is going to be ego and pride. And um, I've noticed that a lot amongst everybody. <laughs> as it's really um, amongst everybody and uh, even I myself I had or we all have a little bit of pride in us uh, a little bit I don't think a little bit is bad but um, if it comes to certain um, aspects if it comes to certain areas we really need to be careful because um, it's not always a good thing to have what I really realized is that most of the times when we feel offended, when someone um, talks bad about you or you hear rumors about you or whatsoever happens, the feelings, the emotions that come after you hear such things, it's not because, oh, what they said was so bad or whatsoever, but I've come to realize that it's just your ego that is... Um, kicking against all of it because in your mind you don't picture yourself to be as bad as maybe another person might describe you or say about you so it hits you so badly <laughs> and it's actually really most of the times just that pride and that ego that is making you to get angry afterwards or to dislike someone or to even hate somebody and um, we really need to be careful we need to be so careful when it comes to that I believe you can actually live a more peaceful and harmonious life if you deal with that i mean if you really humble yourself if you let god humble you if you really deal with it and um even rumors what people think about you their opinions whatsoever comes through your way it's not going to hurt you anymore it's not going to make you get angry anymore you won't even feel it it's just going to pass you by and I, I think that's where we want to really get to I think that's the point all of us should reach because yeah other people's opinion don't really it shouldn't matter yes to that one I <laughs> I have a Bible verse for you for that okay oh first of all uh, not not really to scare you but just for you to know that it it's important to deal with that ego because um okay isaiah 2 verse 12 says the lord almighty has a day in store for all the proud and lofty for all that is exalted and they will be humbled <laughs> we will be humbled guys we will be humbled we will we will be humbled and that humbling from god can be painful i've experienced that i've tasted it it's painful <laughs> it's really painful and um, yeah it's not easy but that humbling it's not really because he wants to punish you for your deeds but what I've got to learn also or got to know it's also written in uh, where is it written in James yes James 4 verse 6 but he gives us more grace that is why the scripture says God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble and what I've gotten from those two verses is just that he wants you to, he wants to humble you so that he can favor you at the end of the day like seriously you need to be humble to get that favor grab your favor turn around let that ego die and when you really see that God is trying to humble you in any kind of way embrace it that's really the number one um, advice I can give to you on that embrace it it's okay to feel hurt it's okay that it it's going to hurt that you won't be okay with everything but embrace it and just grow through it grow with it yes point number two which is competition I believe that also follows after ego and the whole pride issue because um, from there you start comparing yourself you start looking around and yeah I, I also think that's a very big point when it comes to um, churches when it comes to youths in general we like or 
everybody actually we like comparing ourselves so much and it doesn't make sense always this talk of oh why can't i do this this person is doing it better than i am doing it and <laughs> it's so unnecessary unnecessary whatever it's not good it is not needed it's so bad for you because i believe we are all so perfectly made we are all so unique and everybody is so different which is perfect which that's how it's supposed to be it would be so boring if <laughs> we would actually all be the same in all areas or in the same areas so um i don't really see yes the need for this comparison because what you can do I can't but what I can do you can so we can actually just join together and make the whole picture beautiful the whole picture perfect and um, I cannot fight to have something that is not mine that is not belong to me that doesn't even fit to my whole being I might just come to realize that we always fight <laughs> really fight or even beg for things that um, others have or that others are good in and forgetting how as a, forgetting how much we actually have ourselves, how much impact all the good things that the Lord has put into you you forget that you would rather want to have something that another person is good in for whatsoever reason and man he made you the way you are for a reason so i think you you can hold on to that like i'm happy to be me you should be happy to be you too and especially one fact i think we easily forget is um the bible tells us he created us in his image like what more do you want <laughs> you are like god like what else and um it's actually so sad because <laughs> You just overlooked it and on a serious note actually just because another person is fully exercising his or her gift and you or your own is not yet um, has not been seen yet let me put it this way that doesn't mean it won't be activated sooner or later like just wait for your time it's going to come and there is absolutely no reason to compare yourself to be in a competition and for anybody <laughs> seriously for anybody who thinks that another person might be competing with them like if you have that in your mind you better kick that thought out because nobody i i believe i actually believe nobody's actively competing with you um if you have that mindset then it's because you build it yourself that's my belief so it's not a good thought just like i said kick it out and um <clears throat> to that i also i always have a bible verse so to this one i also have a bible verse written in first corinthians 9 verse 24 and it says do you not know that in a race all the runners run but only one receives the prize so run that you may obtain it and guys i'm going to take that like <laughs> i'm not going to lose this race i don't know whosoever thinks he is competing with me or i'm competing with them but i'm on my own and i know what i'm fighting for and i'm going to get it like i'm going to get to that goal and um nobody can take that away from me and nobody should take that away from you too so you better just concentrate on yourself focus your mind and leave and let everybody else out they don't yeah it's between you and god that's it and the second one which is written in colossians is it colossians 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 3 verse 17 and whatever you do in word or deed do everything in the name of the lord jesus giving thanks to the god the father through him and yes seriously it is so important don't think that because you need to um impress somebody or a group of people or your pastor or whatsoever that you need to act like um the holiest of holies or do this act or that act to prove that you are somebody or you can do something or you are mighty or whatsoever like no god sees you like he can see your heart so whatever you do do it for god 
do it for him alone like like i said he sees you and if your heart is pure you are always going to be the winner that's my opinion that is how we come to point number three which is <laughs> our beloved jealousy and envy and um to me in my opinion i also feel like it just follows from this competition competitional whatsoever that uh might be existing because from that competition you start um getting jealous of all of those things okay from that comparison i mean when you start comparing yourself you can easily get lost in that thought you go deeper and deeper and then seriously that jealousy that envy comes up you start asking yourself oh why can this person do that am i not like this don't i deserve to um be looked at the same way or to speak the same way or to get that um is it acknowledgement or um to be seen or to be recognized now to be recognized like the other person like it's that I, I believe that's a point um it is so dangerous so if you reach that level <laughs> you better turn around like mm -mm, it's not it's i don't think it's going to end well from all of that i believe that you start wishing maybe knowingly or unknowingly unconsciously you start wishing bad for that person you start wishing that that gift or whatsoever um that person is good in should come down so that you can be satisfied inside of you and that's not good that's not god that's not showing love that's not being your brother's keeper it's um yeah no don't do that don't let that happen to you seriously it's not a good sign and i also feel like um <laughs> if we go one step ahead it just starts bringing all these thoughts of iniquity like I, I really believe that envy and jealousy can drive you so deep and if you're not careful if you really get lost in that whole dark world or that whole dark cloud um you could maybe even commit a sinful act or something very bad that you might regret at the end of the day you can um, start you can even be that person who is spreading bad rumors or talking badly about a person or a group of people and um, no it's uh, I don't think that's nice <laughs> I really don't think that is nice so we really need to be careful when it comes to that point and shut all of these things out for real to that of course a bible verse let me check my first the first bible verse it's written in james 3 verse 16 which says for where jealousy and selfish ambition exist there will be disorder and every vile practice vil? you don't want disorder in your life <laughs> <laughs> we don't want this order in your life like it really takes away all the focus all the things you have been working towards to in uh, in getting closer to the lord in growing as a person it takes away everything it steals your joy you don't you don't you don't you don't want that for yourself and and also to that um what i can actually say is if you really <laughs> if you really desire to have anything to have a gift to have whatsoever your heart really longs for you can always i believe ask for it <laughs> and um if it's according to god's will he might grant it to you he, he might really give it to you and if he or if it doesn't come your way then maybe it's just not for you and then you should just accept that maybe you don't get or have what your heart desires but you have so many other things and you should concentrate on that in general when you wrestle with this jealousy with this deep envy maybe if it has gotten so far um it seizes all the love inside of you and that's not the goal that's not what god has prepared for you that's not what he wishes for you he wants you to feel loved he wants you to be covered in his love so if you have all of that inside it's going to be so difficult to be filled with that love of god it's yeah it's going it's just not going to work out so to that i also have a bible verse which is written in first john 4 verse 8 and it says anyone who does not love does not know god because god is love and i really believe in this our christian race 
our goal our heart desire normally or our intention if i can put it that way is to know god better and with all of that with that envy you cannot know him and you don't want that <sighs> so um i really hope this was helpful helpful for you and um you could have a little bit of insights for how yeah it all just goes down all in all this ego problem this competition this pride at the end of the day what does it cause it causes you to yeah to run away from each other and god wants us to be united because he knows and we should actually know that together in unity we are strong we can change a lot we we can have a lot of impact in any type of way and so i believe that the enemy really uses those things to divide us and we shouldn't let that happen but that's not what god has planned for you kick it out try as hard as you can to fight against it just lastly if you really know that you have deep struggles with these three things i just mentioned then <laughs> you better repent <laughs>